Hey, what's up everybody? Today's video, we're going to be installing 3157 LED bulb types and they are supplied by JDM Astar. So we're gonna be testing out these bulbs, installing them on the Dodge Dakota. We're going to be putting them in the headlights in the turn signals, but very exciting on these particular bulbs is they are switchback bulbs, meaning that they are going to switch from a white LED color to amber when we engage the turn signals or you engage your four ways, stuff like that. So they're gonna look super cool. It's gonna be a huge improvement over just these amber halogen bulbs that we currently have in there. So without further ado, let me show you the bulbs and we'll get started. All right, so here's the bulbs. Again, they're JDM star bulbs that we're testing out today. And this is what they look like outside the package. So for this application, we're gonna need four bulbs because they're gonna be going in the headlights, which require two on each side. So you can see here, see this kind of orange color, that's gonna be the amber portion of this. And these yellowish parts, that's going to be just our, our white LED portion. Also cool with these bulbs is they also have it in the ends. So this is gonna shine in almost every direction you could imagine, which is going to be good. It's gonna deliver a nice light. And it's also going to look super cool in our black housing headlights. So let's pop out those. I'll show you real quick where they are. So. You can see here, like I said, two per side, you got just amber halogen bulbs. Fortunately, we can remove these by just reaching around the back, turning them counterclockwise and popping them out. So let's go ahead and take those out. We'll put in the switchbacks on one side so we can compare what it looks like on one side to the other, and then we'll go from there. So Jonathan's down there. Jonathan, introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna get down there and turn those bulbs counterclockwise to remove them, but let's see what he's doing. All right, so we have the switchbacks on this side. We have the headlights turned on, and this is in comparison to the stock halogen bulbs that you see right there. So it added a ton of light, almost, I mean, it looks real good. It almost added like, I wanna say more actual lighting to the truck. Like you can see on the wall, it's almost projecting more light than, than it was before. So if you were down on lighting, and you want more light <laughs> out of your headlights, I would put these switchbacks in. It's like the camera almost can't even pick up how much light. Uh, kill the headlights for a second. Jonathan's in the truck right now helping us out. So that's just the switchbacks, the white LED. And like I said, it's super bright. Like it's even projecting just that on the wall. I know it's a little bit hazy, but just the, the lower part, the switchbacks are even projecting light. And then throw the four ways on. Boom, there we go. Now we have LED turn signals. So that's LED. This is the halogen. So you can see the halogens are a little bit slower to respond. So that's the way that looks, but let's put the hood down so you get the full effect. So there we go, hood down. You can see this side flashing much slower like that. And then turn the headlights back on. There's JDM Star LED headlights, the 9007s the uh, super bright 10,000 lumen ones, which I'll also link in the description, but that's what we have. Like you can see the orange broadcasting on the wall here too. So this is incredible looking, but I'll also show you what it looks like during the day. So we got John running the lights again. Turn everything off. So this is everything off and then turn on just the switchbacks. Look at how bright those switchbacks are. That is wild. That's not even the headlights. It's almost, and we don't have fog lights installed just yet on the truck, but like, look at that. And then there's headlights. That's low beam, right? Yeah. Hit the highs for a sec. And then that's high beam. So it's lighting up much, much further down there at the end of the street. Hit the low beams again, and there's low beams. Like we have a ton of light coming out of this truck now. It is insane. Hit the four ways. There we go. There's the switchbacks for you guys. Insane. So here is what the switchbacks look like during the day. And for this application, they're insanely bright. And the reason is because we have such clear lenses on this vehicle. Normally you'd kind of have like a haze um, not a crystal clear lens on the headlight or wherever you were putting them, but because it is so clear and these bulbs are so bright, they do look cool. 
but we're gonna end up changing them out to just an amber bulb. And if I turn on the four ways, you guys can see what it looks like when they switch over. So here's what the switchback looks like while it's flashing. And again, this is what it's going to look like while it's just sitting here with the running lights on, insanely bright. And for this application, we're gonna swap these out to the amber bulbs, just the LED amber bulbs, because they're a little bit more tame just so we don't blind any oncoming drivers. But if you are interested in this, this is what it would look like. All right, so I hope you guys found this video helpful. So like I was mentioning earlier, I would recommend that we go with the bulb like an amber like you can see we now have in here and we're going to be showing you guys a video on the amber comparison as well here shortly so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're notified of the latest videos we're going to be changing up every single bulb on this truck for you guys also dealing with issues like hyper flash and the relays and stuff like that so that you don't end up with hyper flash when you convert to led and make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Everything that we use in today's video will be linked in the description below. So make sure you check that out. Check out JDM and Star's other products. And consider clicking on that join button for me, you guys. It helps the channel grow. It supports the channel. And we can continue to modify vehicles. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.